Hiya folks, Bill Malone, your relationship guy here. And I'm back this afternoon to talk to you about expectations in relationships. Now, if you've been in a relationship as long as I have, you have experienced the fact that we can have different expectations for our partner uh, and they may have a different expectation for us. Now, everyone has expectations no, the problem with expectations has to do with the fact that most of them are unspoken. And when we have an open expectation, that leads to problems because one, your spouse may have a different expectation than you, or two, you may have a different expectation of her, or the both of you are not in agreement as to what the expectation is. Now, when we have expectations that are not communicated, more often than not, those expectations lead to disappointment. And the reason they lead to disappointment is they are not fulfilled. Well, let me give you an example of an expectation that's not fulfilled. I was recently working with a client and they were discussing whether or not they were going to go on a vacation. And his wife was expecting that they go to Florida. Now, he, on the other hand, was hoping to go camping in the mountains. And his expectation was they were going to go to the mountains uh, in the fall. Well, needless to say, their expectations did not fit each other's wants and needs and wishes. And therefore, that led to a lot of conflict and a lot of fighting. Another example of unspoken expectations and how it can lead to a problem was I was working with a couple and the woman had gotten a new job and her hours had been cut uh, to, uh, so she was off by two o'clock and which was the schedule that she loved. Her husband, on the other hand, uh, he had a, an expectation that since she was home, early it would be her job to cook the dinner now this was unspoken and as a result of that she was very annoyed with him and thought how dare you think i should cook meals every night because i have other things to do and i have this free time to do it well needless to say their expectations and the differences in their expectation caused them a lot of conflict they had to find some way to resolve the conflict. Uh, the female, the woman, she was very annoyed that her husband would assume that it was her job and that she would take care of all the cooking. She was good at asserting herself and did let him know that this was not acceptable and she was not going to do all the cooking. In fact, that she had other things to do. So if we look at expectations, I recommend to all my clients to dump your expectations because the other person may agree, may not agree. And if they don't agree, if they don't recognize it, then you're going to be very, very disappointed. So if you want to reduce the conflict, you would be very wise to spell out, speak out, tell the other person what it is that you're expecting. I've told my wife I'm expecting for Christmas a bag of money. Oh, well, she's clearly said to me, uh, not going to happen. Well, at least she knows that what she, what I'm expecting is a bag of money. So I'm not going to be, I might be disappointed, but clearly she's already said that's not going to happen. So if you want to reduce these conflicts resulting from unspoken expectations, your best bet is to spell them out. Explain to your partner what it is that you're expecting. And again, if they're looking for something different, you will have to go into a negotiating process so that both of you can end up getting what you want. So spell them out, make your expectations very clear. It will help reduce any kind of disappointment. So if you want to know more about relationships and how to have a good one, Come back and see me again. Our next blog, we're going to talk about effective ways to negotiate. So 
If you want to subscribe, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button right down to your left. All that hitting that subscribe button does is let you know when my next blog is going to come out. And so I wish you a good day and I hope you have a good relationship and see you next time. Bye now.